In this episode of the 2016 Skyrim Modding Guide, we discuss trees, 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 and flowers. We'll look at Fading Signals Sky Sight Simply Bigger Trees and their LODs, then throw in realistic aspen trees and a patch to make them work together. Then we'll cover the recently updated Skyrim Floor Overhaul by Vert and go over all of its particulars. Hey guys, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel and welcome back to the 2016 Skyrim Modding Guide. As the intro mentioned, we are going to be looking at tree mods and essentially we're going to be looking at two basic sets. We're going to be looking at Simply Bigger Trees by Fading Signal and a couple of associated mods and then we're going to cover Vert's Skyrim Flora Overhaul. And the reason why I put them into packages is because they're really not interchangeable or you can't really put them together. I'll, there is one caveat to that. But uh, I'll get into that a little bit later. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you the first mod we're going to take a look at. And that, of course, is Sky Sight Simply Bigger Trees by Fading Signal. It has been around since 2014. Fading Signal is one of my favorite modders, the creator of True Storms. It has done this and it's a very simple thing. He simply increased the size of the trees by increasing their meshes. And it's not complete all the way through, but I will tell you this, I'm going to show you some screenshots right now. Very few mods have made me think, oh my god, this is completely different. And you'll be walking through a forest and you'll just be overwhelmed by how dense and thick it looks. And like I said, it's basically just to increase the size of the meshes. And that's simply amazing to me that it could have that much of an impact. I'll be walking along the road and... You know, I've been playing Skyrim for many, many years and gone down the same roads. So I know exactly where I am. With this mod, I was getting lost. I didn't know where I was. I kept having to open my map and look around. And it simply changed the game so much for me. It just made a huge impact on it. So a lot of cities and whatever else, those are changed as well. And it really does, you know, give you a different perspective. It makes the Skyrim world seem like it is a dense primordial forest. So I wanted to bring this to you and you know there is another mod out there called Skyrim Bigger Trees that use a different method that I don't like as well but I wanted to show this one to you because I felt it was the simplest and it had the pretty much the lowest impact. When you go into this is Sky Size Simply Bigger Trees by Fading Signal mod number 56877. And you look down and, you know, you can have some pictures. It tells you what it does. You got some nice videos here. And of course, I encourage you to read all this stuff. And one of the considerations with this is that this mod does not contain the LODs. So when you're, if you don't have the LODs for it, and you should be either using Dindolod right here, right? You should be using the amazing Dindolod to create your custom LODs for this. But if you're not, there is a mod called Tree LOD for Simply, Simply Bigger Trees by Zilov. And you can see it right there. We'll come back to that in a second. But you can go ahead and try this out and get a very, you know, pretty close iteration of what it will look like without having to run Dindola, which I know is kind of a, you know, a, a ordeal at times. So you can get the LODs and get an idea of what it looks like before running Dindola. There are a couple other things to know with this. If you have any other tree mods that change the meshes with it, it will not be compatible in there. I know there's a couple out there that, you know, definitely do increase the textures of the different pine trees, but because a lot of them have meshes, it's really not compatible. So when you go down through and you read this stuff, it'll tell you installation, simply install the packages, blah, blah, blah. Compatibility should be compatible with most things. All right. And unless there is a tree in the way that it may not clip with because the tree was much bigger now than it was before. Okay. Uh, that's why. There is a patch available for realistic aspen trees, and I will cover that as well. You can see it right there realistic aspen trees, 4K, 2K, 1K. But we'll get that to that in just a second. So, like I said, this is a great mod. I think it's worth you trying to see if it's worth your taste. If you've used Skyrim Flora over Overhaul before or you're looking for a different feel to it, this is a great one because it is just simply amazing. So when you go over to your files, you'll have a couple main files. 
Simply bigger trees, all tree types, version 1.5. Pine trees, snow trees, aspirins, and now reach trees, remade from scratch and out of alpha beta. See the change log in the sticky C optional files for separate tree types. There is another ESP attached, and it's a slower moving branches plugin. And it's a pretty simple thing, really. You just throw this into here. And what it does is slows down the branch movement speed by one third for more realism due to scale. As you can imagine, as the trees get larger, they shouldn't move quite as quickly. And then there's some optional files Realistic Aspen Trees Patch. And that is the, probably the one that I will show you this on this uh, installation. So go ahead and download that with Manager. And then there are simply bigger trees for aspens, pines, and reach trees. These are simply the ones for those. Okay, then you have the older versions. So like I said, three files to download, simply bigger trees, the all tree types, down with Manager, slow moving branches, plug in all trees, ESP, and the realistic aspen trees patch. Download that with Manager. Okay. So those are out of the way. The next one we're going to talk about is the tree LOD for SkySight Simply Bigger Trees by Zlov. It is mod number 60710. Now, when you look at this, basically it's a pretty simple explanation. It is the textures or the LODs for Simply Bigger Trees because Fading Signal didn't put one in. So you can see this is the before and this is the after. You can see the LODs for these far off trees. The trees are much larger. Pretty simple thing. I'll go ahead and show you how to install that. There is one file to get that for that SSBT trees LOD. Download that with Manager. Very simple. And of course, the last one we're going to cover in this package to go along with this is Realistic Aspen Trees by ACQ, mod number 51069. And basically, this is a kind of remesh and retexture and recoloration of all the aspen trees. Quite beautiful, quite nice. I think that when you combine it with Sky Sight Simply Bigger Trees, it does give a great look to the reed or the rift, rather. So I think it's worth doing. Uh, optional billboards is billboard images for TES5 LOD Gen. But if you're using Dindo LOD, that will be the same thing. So you can just go ahead and you'll get those. Now the LOD gens for this are slightly different and I probably wouldn't recommend them if you're using them with Skylight Simply Bigger Trees. When you go into your files on this, it is Realistic Aspen Trees 3.4. Download that with Manager. If you're just using this by itself without Simply Bigger Trees, you can get the billboards for TES5 LOD gen. Just so you know, if you're, if you're using TES5 LOD gen, these are the billboards for them. Billboards are a different thing entirely. So there's that. Go ahead and download that one with Manager as well for this package. So when you go into Mod Organizer, you can see I have the most recent setup here, and we have all the downloads plus a few extra, you know, scattering floor overhaul because it's included in this episode. So simply bigger trees, all tree types. Let's go ahead and install that one first. You can see this guy says simply bigger trees. Manual. You can see it's meshes and landscape and trees. You can see it's just meshes, but it has all your meshes in there. So it looks good that way. Go ahead and click OK. And you scroll down and you activate it. There is no ESP involved with this. Pretty simple thing. But if you want the slower moving branches, plug in for this to make the branches seem more realistic. Go ahead and double click to install manual. And you can see there is a readme.txt. We don't need that. But it does have the Sky Size Simply Bigger Tree Slower Branches ESP. So there is an ESP now. So you can go ahead and click OK and merge it in. Now when you open this up and you go to your optional ESPs, there it is right there. Plugins all the way down. Activate it because it didn't activate because you're merging it in. And just leave it there for right now. So go back to our downloads. Remember we talked about the LODs and you can see the SSBT trees LOD. Now on this, go double click to install. You can see tree LOD for sky site simply bigger trees. Go and click manual. And I'm going to talk about this for just a second. I'm going to open it up. Now you can leave this title the same, you know, as it is if you're going to go back and this is just a test run. So if you're going to go through and, you know, just test run with it to see if you like it or not. Go ahead and just go ahead and activate it this way. 
if you're not going to be using Dindo LOD and you're going to be, you know, using this all the time, I would say go ahead and merge it into SkySight Simply Bigger Trees so it's all in one package, all right? It's going to be your option. Like I said, if you're going to be just test running it and then coming back with Dindo LOD later on, leave it its own mod. And that's exactly how I'm going to do it today. Go ahead and click OK and activate. And you'll see right away, once it refreshes here, there we go. And it's only overriding hearth fires. Okay. So there's that one. Now we're going to remove these both from view. Since we got all that done. There you go. All that stuff. All the stuff associated with simply bigger trees is done for the most part. Then you have the realistic aspen trees. So go ahead and double click to install, and this is going to have a full mod for you, and it'll allow you to choose your resolution 1K, 2K, 4K. Of course, you know, I recommend for the most part, the bigger the object, the higher the resolution. Trees are pretty big, so you can go. 2048 by 2048. There is a bit of an impact on this. When I ran Skyrim Performance Monitor, I did see a drop, a very slight drop in performance according to the VRAM usage. In other words, VRAM usage went up. My frames per second did not go down per se, but I did see an increase in VRAM usage by running the 2048 over 1040 or the 1024, which you kind of expect to see. So there you go. Go ahead and click make your choice and click next, and you're gonna see the LODs. Since we are going to be using the LODs for tree LOD for Skyrite Simply Bigger Trees, I'm going to go ahead and click vanilla. If you were using this in conjunction with Skyrim Flora Overhaul, which you can use, I would suggest using that. But for this package, we're using SkySight Simply Bigger Trees. We want to go with vanilla since SSBT will have its own LODs. Click install and activate. Now what I found on this is you're going to need to put it above SkySight Simply Bigger Trees because remember SkySight Simply, Tree, Simply Bigger Trees has the meshes to make the aspen trees larger. So that's why we want to have this above. Realistic aspen trees will make all the color changes and texture changes and then you know it'll have its own meshes but then you come down to SkySight Simply Bigger Trees it will have its own meshes and then we are going to install the patch. The patch is right there, and you're going to double click to install. Sky says simply bigger trees. I'm going to say do not name it the same. So we want a realistic aspen trees patch. And the reason for this is if you decide to go back and make any changes later on because you're merging it in, probably not a great idea. You know, if aspen trees become too much of a problem for you, You'd have to uninstall the whole thing and then reinstall SkySight. So it's up to you. For me, I'm going to leave the patch labeled as patch. This way you get a better understanding of how it installs. Let's go and click manual. You have meshes. See, it has meshes right there in landscape and trees. And it's all the Aspen meshes for the patch. And click OK. Well, you can get rid of the readme.txt. Click OK. On this. You can see it is overriding these two, and that's exactly what we want because it is a patch, and you want it to load after the two main mods. So when you look at your conflicts on this, you can see that's exactly what it's doing. It is overriding the meshes of the Aspen trees provided by these two. So they are all correct. And that's how uh, SkySight, excuse me, Fading Signal suggested it, and that's how I've done it here. So the LODs will do its own thing, and these three will do its own. That's it. Now, as far as plugins go, obviously we want Loot to run and see what it does. Okay, it didn't move anything. So what it's telling me basically is you can kind of move it around, and if you want to move it up, kind of where some of the other ESPs are that affect appearances like up here or around there. You could try that and try loot again and see what it does. I'm going to make sure it goes very quick here. Blight, and there we go. And it doesn't move it. I mean, basically, 
it's not having any dependencies or anything, so you could definitely move it up to someplace else and be very, very flexible in where you put it. I had found nothing in any type of placement that it said, no, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. So it, it's fine where it is. So there's that. You know, like I said, Sky State Simply Bigger Trees is an amazing mod, and it will definitely change things. So if you're looking for just a tree mod to make things bigger and denser and fuller and thicker, this is a good one. When you combine it with realistic aspen trees, you're definitely getting a lot of beauty in the rift area. So I suggest that's a good package. You know, together it didn't cause a lot of performance issues, but it did increase my VRAM usage a tiny bit, not a whole lot. You know, I couldn't even see perceptible changes between just sky say simply bigger trees and the vanilla trees. There was no real change. It wasn't until I added realistic aspen trees that I saw a slight increase in VRAM usage in the rift area. So there you go. So that's it for those four mods right there. Actually five, if you want to count the ESP that we added in. So, and we will move on to our next mod. All righty now. So we're going to move on to Skyrim floor overhaul. We'll just jump right into it and take a look at it. Skyrim floor overhaul by Vert has been around forever. It's mod number 141. You see how many endorsements and how many downloads it has, and it recently got an update to version 2.5a. 2.5a. So when you go down and read all this stuff, I think that you know I didn't really do a you know a series of videos for this because you know quite frankly there's a ton. There's just a ton of videos out there for Skyrim floor overhaul, and you don't need me making another one. And quite frankly, if you look at the you know showcase video I did for Vivid Weathers. It's basically the same thing. It's Skyrim floor overhaul plus enhanced landscapes to get that footage. So that'll tell you about it. You can click on that video on the left or on the right and you'll see that. So when you come down here, there are some infor important information. And the first one, of course, is that Vert recommends that you set an, a Skyrim.any setting of IMAX grass types per texture not texture, just remember that. I'll get back to this in a minute, but we do any settings in your Skyrim Dead Any. So that's the first thing to notice. Uh, these aren't really, you know, relevant to version 2.5, so you can skip over that. The change log for version 2.5 is right here. You can read that. And then you get into the frequently asked questions. This is probably the most, you know, informative stuff here. If, which ENB recommend, you know, what about SKSE, ENB, SLI, Windows 10, blah, blah, blah. You know, different things like, you know, why is your grass look really strange? We already covered iText mip map skip equals zero in your Skyrim prefs.any when that was done for vivid weathers. How can I run Skyrim floral hall with just trees? Now, I will come back to this in a second and it says disable both ESPs and do not install the meshes landscape grass and textures landscape grass folders. There's a little more to that and I'll get into it, but I wanted to, you know, put this out there by deleting both the ESPs. The trees may shake a little bit more. They're a little more twitchy, just so you know what you're getting into. Uh, are there other standalone versions? Read this. My distant trees look wrong. He added an LOD -L -D file to this, so you can now download that. Uh, what to do with grasses, you know, dense grass, better performance. All this is very good information. I would suggest reading it. There's a lot of good, you know, advice contained in the, his frequently asked questions section. Come back up to the top, take a look at these pictures, okay? Just for reference sake, I tried to recreate those doing some tests, and I got good there. Morthal, the air, the swamps around Morthal are notoriously bad. You know, I didn't really go into that. I didn't want to get that deep into the rabbit hole. So we're just going to go straight into files. And we'll take a look at it. You know, so there's quite a, a messy thing here. But basically, what you're looking for is this one, Skyrim Floor Overhaul version 2.5. This is the most recent update. There is an update as well. And you're going to have to come down here and get that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that since it is been included since I downloaded it. So it's just an update. It fixes a few tree meshes that were bugged and missing normal map settings okay and then you come down to optional files you have the 2k lod's for version 2.5 
So this is a new, this is optional 2K LOD, so you have better, you know, long distance objects. Now you'll probably need those for uh, something like Dindo LOD, but you know what's odd is that I didn't find the LODs provided by Vert to be that good. So just keep something to keep in mind. So like I said, three files, Skyrim Floor Overall version 2.5, the update right here, and the LODs for version 2.5. So let's go ahead and minimize this down. We'll go into Mod Organizer. You can see I just downloaded this. I downloaded this, you know, before the update. So we've got to do this. I'll take a look at it right now. I mean, this is going to be, you know, interesting stuff. So I'm going to look at this first and just see what we have. Meshes, landscape, trees. Okay, nothing. Nothing really to worry about for me there. So this will be a simple update. So let's go ahead and install it first. And then we'll talk about the any settings and, you know, why I think this is actually more relevant than seeing a bunch of pretty pictures. Skyrim Floor Overhaul, double click to install manual. You'll see meshes, textures, SFO, dragonborn.esp, and skyrimfloorverhaul.esp. Right click, set data, and you can see the same thing. It looks good. Go ahead and let it install. There we go. Go ahead and check that. Let's do the update first. Double click to install. We already know that. Manual, right set data, meshes, and we talked about it. it's just the trees. Fixing some tree stuff. Okay, it looks good. We're going to merge that in. Excuse me, this. It's now oak pollen season. My nose is going crazy. So you got that in there as well. Let's go ahead and install the LODs. Manual, textures, train, Tamriel, trees, LODs. Right set date, data, textures. Okay, looks good. Go ahead and install that and merge it in. So now you have all sorts of stuff in here. You got optional ESPs. You have... You know, file tree is looking pretty big because you got all sorts of things in here. Like this is the tree of white run, the DLC stuff, landscape, grasses, more tree stuff, plants, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of plants. This will be relevant in a little bit. All right, so that is set and ready to go. There are plugins for this. Obviously, there's two of them. We'll let loot do its thing. There we go. Okay, so whatever it wants to do is fine on that. So now we'll actually get into the any settings. So go ahead and click that. Go to your, this is the tools tab. Select any editor. And we're primarily looking at the Skyrim.any. And when you come down to grasses, and this is the setting that he talked about here. So if we go back, I max grass types per texture equals seven. Okay. Minimize this down again. So I max grass types per texture. You can see I have it presently set at two, and that is the default Skyrim setting. So he wants that set at seven. We'll go ahead and save that. You can see the other one that has a direct bearing on this and a direct bearing on performance is I min grass size equals 40. Default is 20, but I always set mine at 40 per the step guidelines for a little better performance. And these two are going to be the ones that have a direct bearing on performance. So as you go through and look at this, the next few pictures, this is a direct relation to this. So I'm going to show you some pictures here. And it all has to do with IMAX grass types per texture. And you can see the first picture is IMAX grass types per texture, two. And then you move up to five. And then finally seven. So what this is telling you is that as you increase IMAX grass types per texture, you get more and bigger, more standout textures that sit on the ground and those are all foliage and flowers and more plants that vert has added into the game now here's the thing about that is that there is a 
minor, minor hit on this as far as performance goes. The more relevant number is I min grass size equals 40. And we'll get into performance in a second, but all the, you know, the performance things I did were based off of I min grass size equals 40. And here's the thing, it is an inverse relationship. So as you increase this number, you get less grass. So if you were to set this to 20, which is the default Skyrim setting, of course you increase the grass size and you decrease your performance. So if you go up to something like 70, you're going to have very little grass, but you're going to have better performance. So I just did all my testing at 40 just to see what I was getting with the two. So I was going to show you some shots of Skyrim Performance Monitor, which is a tool that I used. Uh, on a regular basis to test performance and to see what GPU usage is like. The first one you're going to see is no Skyrim floor overhaul. And you can see in down in the bottom section on kind of the right-ish area, you're going to see the usage of VRAM, and that's the GPU, is 2106 megabytes. And that's without Skyrim floor overhaul. So that's with Vivid Weathers and all the other things that I have up to this point. So, you know, you, there's your baseline. And this is how I do a lot of my testing, is that I ran through both those scenes I showed in the pictures for the different eye max grass, grass types per texture and measured those using a Skyrim performance monitor and then went up from there. So the first one, of course, is no Skyrim floor overhaul. And then I also went and ran a test using the default any settings of IMAX grass types per texture of two. And you can see the number became 2340. And that's an 11% increase. So just by adding Skyrim floor overhaul with the default any settings, you had an 11% increase. Now, if you increase the IMAX grass types per texture to seven, which is the recommended settings, from vert you would think okay we'll go ahead and and you'll have a big increase well you really don't it only increased system drain of 12 percent and went up to 2366 all right well that led me to a thought experiment what i said is i'm going to look at removing everything but the trees just the tree textures remove the ESPs as recommended in the, the frequently asked questions, and remove all of the other plants. So we just have trees. And test that performance to see what I got. And it looked pretty good. It's just that you have default grounds, essentially, no extra plants. And the number came out to 2266. That is an increase of 7% over the non-SFO setting. So you're essentially costing yourself 5% more by having all of those plants and other things that, you know, Skyrim Floral overhaul adds and are very, very pretty. So it's a performance issue, but I wanted you to see this because I do use Skyrim Performance Monitor on a regular basis, and I felt it's a good tool to kind of introduce you guys to and let you see. So there's that. I'm going to go ahead and save my settings because now it's to the correct Skyrim floor overhaul recommendations and the step guide for I min grass size equals 40. Save it and close it. So thought experiment. All right. That thought experiment said to me, well, what if someone's having a lot of performance issues and they're pushing things or if they start adding grasses? And I'm going to show you a picture here of the tundra with the grass plugin provided by Enhanced Landscapes. And you can see the picture is you have the grasses from Enhanced Landscapes in addition to the other ground type plants from Skyrim Flora Overhaul. And this is going to add a lot more strain. So if you wanted to, you could have the grasses from that or another mod by deleting, you know, or having better performance by deleting the extra plants and grasses from Skyrim Floor Overhaul. And I'll show you that right now. Go back into downloads and we're going to repeat the process 
but I'm going to show you how I did it to just get trees only. So double click to install Skyrim Floor Overhaul. This is the correct one. Manual. Let's go ahead and set data directory right now. And let's open up the first one. We're going to open up this window quite a bit here because we're going to need to see all this stuff under meshes. And this is, of course, every item has a mesh and a texture. And you go into landscape and you're going to have grass. So he recommended turning off grass. Well, what's in the plants? Okay, well, you have the reach shrubs. All right, we'll turn those off just for experiment's sake. And then you have trees. We're going to leave that as it is. So we're now going to go into plants. And the only thing there is the flora juniper 01.nif. And that is a texture for the flora juniper. There's a matching one in textures, or there's a mesh. So we go ahead and turn that off as well. Now we'll minimize that down, go into terrain, Tamriel, trees. And this is all the trees. All right. We are going to leave that as is. So we can go ahead and minimize that. And then we go into textures. Our texture, white run, this is the white, the big tree of white run. We can leave that there. DLC, landscape, grasses and trees. We'll turn off the grass, leave the trees. And in the plants, you can see what the plants are. We can turn that off as well. Remember, this is more a thought experiment than anything else. Under landscape for textures, you've got dirt cliffs, grass, trees. You didn't even know it had dirt cliffs in there, did you? So grass, trees, field grass. So we're going to turn off, you can see these, the add some more roots, which may actually be okay for trees. We'll leave those there. Grass, we're going to turn off the grass and we're going to go through and de-click all of the other grasses. So there you go. Now you've just got trees. When you come down to plants, you can see you got cabbages and shrubs and there's the floral juniper leeks and potatoes, snowberries, and a lot of these things are added by other mods. So this may be something you may not want. So go ahead and just de-click plants. There's no trees in there. And you keep coming down and we'll just minimize this down so we have a little, we can see a little bit more. And terrain, Tamriel, trees. Okay, so that looks good. The other things we have to do is to deactivate both the Dragonborn ESP and the Skyward Flow Overhaul, Overhaul ESP. I'm going to deactivate those. And I'm going to rename this Skyrim Floor Overhaul. I'll just make it SFO. Trees only. There you go. So I now know exactly what this is, right? And there's no ESPs. It's all just trees and no plants, grasses, or anything else. Go and click OK. I tested it. And basically, it is exactly as you would see it, but no ground foliage, no extra plants, no snowberries, no mountain flowers, any of that. And if you are performance hungry, but you want just the trees, you know the numbers are going to, you're basically saving yourself between 4 to 5% on VRAM usage by going this route, which may save you, it may not. So it really depends on what you want to do. You know, you can have you know, make a choice. You can go through and reinstall all this stuff again. If you were doing this, I would go ahead and copy. And if you're doing this completely, I would go ahead and do the update. SFO trees only. Okay. Manual. Right click, set data. Tree meshes is going to change the meshes of the trees. We already talked about that. Merge that in. And the LODs. There you go. SFO trees only. And manual. Right click, set data, textures, okay, and merge it in. So that is exactly as SFO, and you can go ahead and have that option and test it out, and then we will deactivate that. Skyrim floor overhaul, manual, right click, set data, okay. Do the update, Skyrim floor overhaul, manual, set data, looks good, merge it in. And the LODs, scatter floor overhaul, manual, right click set data, textures, okay, and merge it in. So now you've got both. So you can go ahead and test it. And of course, this has plugins. You'll need to go back through and make sure loot is copacetic with it. And then you have another one that doesn't have any ESPs, it's just the textures for the trees. So I wanted to bring all that stuff to you. I'll include links for Scaven Performance Monitor also. I'll also include a 
link to Michael from Gamer Poets' new video on using a scaring performance monitor. That actually is quite helpful for most people who don't use it, so you can understand how it all gets to work using Mod Organizer. I've always kind of used it. His way doesn't work for me. It doesn't show the little pop-ups on the screen when you're playing the game. But for me, this works just fine. I've always had it down there. And, you know, it's a good testing tool. So there's two ways of doing it. One with a full install and one with just trees only. So there's that. You may be asking yourself, well, Cal, what are you going to use? Well, I'll tell you, even though that Sky Sight Simply Bigger Trees is fantastic and changes so much of your perception of the game, I've got to stick with SFO. And it's going to be the full install, and I'll just adjust things later on to adapt itself to enhance landscapes. And they do kind of run symbiotically, so I think I'll go with Skyrim Floor Overhaul by Vert. It is absolutely excellent. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. You know, trees and landscape and flowers, plants, that sort of thing improves a lot to the game, but there's two good options for you. Stuff to look at. Now, the next episode is going to be focused solely on enhanced landscapes. It is so big and so expansive that I felt it was important to have its own because it has so many options. So, Enhanced Landscapes is next on the 2016 Skyrim Modding Guide. I hope you join me for that. My name's Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off. <laughs>